Coco. He's going to roll out on a play-action pass. He's going to be pressured. He'll let it go. He has a man open. Incomplete wow. just out of his reach. If he catches that, he's in there for a touchdown. Wow. And the Eagles dodge a major bullet there. We sure did. The linebacker was beat on the play, and he was trying to get there. But it was an awesome route right there on the backside, and the quarterback did a good job of buying time. Goal. And he's missed two today, so anything's possible right here. And let's hope he misses here. Eagles going to try to go after the block. Mitchell Ward, snap down, kick is up, and it is. That's good. That's down the middle. Good. And so Delaware State has struck first in overtime, so the Eagles know what they have to do to keep this game going. 20-17, to 17, Delaware State takes the lead. 43 yards is his career long. This will be his career long if he hits this from the near hash. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. It has got the distance, That's and good. it is good. Oleg Perrin with the field goal, and we keep playing here from O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. He drilled that from 46 yards out. We're tied at 20. Nice job right there, and that's the thing with him is just confidence. He did a really good job of driving the ball and driving through the ball, and that's exactly what you need. He crushed that off the, the ground, and we still play on here at O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. Now Reed with four receivers again. Nicely in. Roberts on the far side with the Eagles. Now Reed is going to step up with it. And he'll be short of a first down as he dives forward. They're going to give him to about the 10. So again, this will be a 27-yard field goal to take a three-point lead here. Snap down. The kick is up. And right he drills that one. 23-20, the Eagles take the lead in the second overtime. Can they hang on and win it, or will Delaware State tie it up? We'll see. So that was the right call. Five receivers again for Delaware State. Who's going to come up big for NCCU is the question. Now Elko, he's going to be pressured, and now he's going to be sacked. That was Who big. got him? X marks the spot. Xavier Proctor drops him down to the 16-yard line. Good job by Proc right there, sliding off. And when the quarterback stepped up, he was there to squeeze and make the play. Now we need to hold him on his third down right here and put it in their kicker's hands one more time. New back in the backfield is Williams. Third down at about 14. Elko back to throw. Proctor giving him pressure. The pick. Falls up in the way and incomplete. Fourth down. And here comes Mitchell Ward to keep this game going. 35. Mitchell Ward on the near hash. Snap is a little bit high. It's up. Block! block! Malik Cormarty blocks it. It is picked up by Mark Lewis, and he can take it back, but the players are on the field. They might get a penalty. Mark Lewis will score. No flag on the play. And the Eagles, let's see if they count as a touchdown. It doesn't matter. It's over. And the ball game is over. North Carolina Central has won it. But the fans were out on the field. Remnants of the Stanford Cal play. And the Eagles win. There comes the fans out on the field. The Eagles, for the first time since moving into the Division I level, will have a winning season in 2012. They sit in second place in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, and they win it today by the final score of 23-20. to We'll have all the postgame coverage for you. As Oleg Parent, the hero of today's ball game, with the game-winning field goal in overtime, Eagles move their record to 6-3 and three overall, 5-1 and one in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. We'll take a timeout. Come right back. The Eagles postgame report presented by True Pack Moving Systems comes your way right after this on the NCCU Sports Network. By the homecoming atmosphere and, and just this game in general. Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. We say we are winners. It can never be changed. Got our sixth win of the season. First win of the season since 2006. I'm so proud of this football team. I'm so proud of this football coaching staff, this administration. We had a packed house for homecoming, and we had a lot of adversity to overcome. I mean, we had about five or six starters out today, and we, I knew we were going to start a little slow, but we just persevered, and, and guys made plays. What can you say about Arthur Goforth? You know, what can you say about Oleg Parent? You know, guys who stepped up that defense, bent, 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 did break. So I'm extremely proud of those young men, and uh, we winners. 
coach, speaking of Oleg Perrin, has been struggling a little bit this year, really stepped up for you today. Speak a little bit about him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, you know, he got in doctrine this season. He didn't miss a field goal all last season, so he had to come over, overcome a little adversity. You know, you can't go your whole college career and not miss a field goal. So when he started missing, he started trying, and he fought through it. I was proud of him. He fought through it, and um, we couldn't have won this ball game without him. Coach, Arthur Goforth, excellent today. Broke a school record. Wow. How did that change momentum for your team? It was huge. He made a play. Offense, defense, special teams. You know, I know the fans like to come and see offense. Sometimes you're not going to be on point offensively or defensively, but when your special teams can give you a score and give you a turnover and do things like that and give you, excuse me, three field goals, I mean, that's all a part of the game. We work on it every single day. And it's no surprise to me that we deliver on special teams because we work extremely hard on it. What are you doing this next week of practice to just really finish out your season and continue this, this strong run? We don't change. We don't change. We have a format that's been in place since August. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll modify some things because you know, you're in November. Got a little bit more bumps and bruises, a little bit more injuries, and we do have a, another 11-mile bus trip in front of us. So we'll modify some things in terms of the workout. But, but we'll, we'll still get after it. You know, I may, may go one day of full gear instead of two days. And, um, but we're still going to game plan and, and get ready for, for Florida a &M. Coach, I saw Jordan Reed was kind of getting beat up during this game. There was a moment where he came off the field. You pulled him aside and had a little talk with him. Can you tell us a little bit about what the conversation was about? I told him he's our guy. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're fortunate enough to play quarterback, you know, a long time, you're going to have days where you just ain't clicking. He wasn't clicking today. He, he was missing wide open receivers. He was missing reads. He was taking sacks. But, yeah, he's our guy, you know. And, um, you know, we're we going to stick with him because we've seen him do it. We believe in him, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm an old, fat ex-quarterback, so, you know, I know what, what to say to a quarterback every now and then, you know, to pick him up. And he came to me, and he said, Coach, my bad, I apologize. I said, those things happen, man. You know, but there's, you know, there's always next week. If you want to pay me back, have a great one on next week. All right, thanks, Coach. No problem. Excellent, excellent way to end this game. Thank you, you know, much. Last year you, you were very strong. This year you struggled a little bit. How, little bit. how are you able to just step up in this game and just execute for your Eagles? Well, uh, I always had confidence, you know, and it, it's all, you know, it's all team, it's teamwork, you know. They score, and we kept up with the team, uh, and uh, we just, we succeeded today, and uh, just confidence. Everybody, every te team, every of my teammates all believed in me, so, and I brought it, I brought the hammer. Great. Right before you kicked the first field goal in overtime, Coach Frazier called a timeout and kind of pulled you and Jordan over to the side. What was the talk? What did he say to you to get you ready to kick that field goal? Really, he said, we all believe in you, and you have great confidence, like you showed in practice this week, and, this week, and uh, that's it. That's it's it. a kicker. You know, many of us out here have never kicked the ball during a football game. What, when you're getting ready to do that in overtime, you know it's, it's really counting. What is your thought process? What are you saying? Once again... Confidence. I, it, I just put it in my head. Be confident. You know you've done this many times, many, many, many times, and just do it. All right. Thanks. Great game. Thank you very much, guys.